So, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, Preeti. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing great. Fantastic. And today is Sunday, so <laughs> I'm feeling relaxed also. That's great because you work six days, yeah? Yes. Okay. Oh. So, if you can... yeah, today is Sunday. How is your day? <laughs> My days are going very good and relaxed. I'm taking advantage of holidays. And today, after a long time, we got sunny day. So, yes, it's a good, good, good day today for me. Yeah, and there is a uh, snowy days, right? Very cold days. Very extremely cold, yes. Just uh, because it's afternoon time here. So yes, I was having lunch and I told maybe you have a problem. You last time you said no, you having power card or some kind of other problem. Yeah, so yeah. Yesterday, yesterday there I, was a problem. Gone. So I told I didn't get the message. So let me have my lunch and then I will have a look. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> okay, okay. So have you taken your lunch? Yeah, I had my lunch. Yes. Oh, that's great. Oh, <laughs> actually, uh, from last. Few days, uh, this question is coming in my mind about tenses. Uh, but before start conversation, let me start a brief introduction for each other. You, everyone knows about me and you also. Nowadays, you are also very famous. <laughs> yes, yes, Hema. Okay, so would you like me to start first or you want? As I you want, as okay. you wish. Okay, as you know, my name is Hema. I was born and raised in India. Basically, I am from Uttarakhand. After getting married, I came to Australia. Therefore, I've been living in Australia for the last 16 years. My qualifications include a post-graduation degree, which I have done from Delhi University. I have also a bachelor degree in education, which I had done in Australia. Therefore, I am working as a teacher in Australia. So by profession, I am a teacher. Besides, I have a channel on YouTube. It is called The Art of, the Art of Speaking English, and that's all about me. Yeah, really wonderful. And I hope most of viewers and learners know about you. Because every day I watch your video and <laughs> someone new person is going to connect with you. So that's really nice. And uh, let me start my introduction. I'm Preeti and I'm also a teacher like you. I'm teaching in a private school. I'm from Haryana. Uh, and right now living in Bahadurgarh that is near New Delhi. Uh, apart from this, I run my two YouTube channels. One is Easy Way to Learn with Priti, that is my study channel. And another one is Easy Way Vlog, that is my vlogging channel. That's all about me. Did you know about okay. the game? <laughs> okay, just let me know if my voice breaks up. Is it okay till no, now? No, no, everything is okay. okay that's great. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. You can happen uh, any day, I think. Um, it's good now. Yes, ma'am. Uh, actually, one question is my mind. Uh, I told you earlier in previous video, like uh, I always like to teach my student through activity, through different, different activities so that every topic always remain fresh in their mind through activity. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now I'm going to uh, teach tenses. So mm -hmm. uh, because when we make lesson plan in our teacher's diary, so uh, I mentioned in the forecast, like uh, I have to teach tenses in next week. So uh, somehow I always confuse like uh, how I can teach tenses in a different way so that uh, they never forget about the rules and regulations because which personally I observed from uh, students side, most of students appear their 12th and after appearing their 12th, they, they were not uh, familiar about the tenses rules. So how we can teach in a different way so that they can easily frame sentences because it is a genuine problem of most of Indians. Like yes. they are not in the habit of making sentences. Yeah, I never ever gave a thought uh, about this topic. But yes, let me just collect my knowledge, whatever I know. I just tell you spontaneously. <laughs> what's, um, yeah. And also, you're right that uh, I have also seen students when it's exam, when they do just prepare for exam, and after that, they forget. Okay. But it yeah. is not 
So we need to teach our students um, from the beginning. This is English and this is a language like your mother tongue, like Hindi, like Haryanvi. This is also a language and now it becomes a global language and it is kind of local language now. Everyone knows this language well. So if you don't know this language, your study will be waste because you won't be able to communicate mm -hmm. And people, they will uh, think, OK, even though you are very qualified, very educated, they will take you lightly. Because of just English, usually we say people, they don't judge. Nobody have time to judge, but they do. It is actually right. They do. They judge. <laughs> OK, based on yeah. our is. So just let them know if you do, if you take interest in this subject that way, even though in other subjects, I'm not saying you encourage your children. OK, don't worry about other such subject. You have to just focus on English. Just say that this is very important. You know other subject well, that is a good thing. But uh, if you don't know English, that that going to be waste. Why? Because uh, you won't be able to make other people understand uh, your understanding, your viewpoint of you, and you won't be able to make understand other people if you are good at math. You won't be able to teach them math. Yes. So just let them know it's up to you. I'm just telling you the importance of English. So first of all, you just tell them importance of the English. Yeah, mm. So they, yeah. that they will be very eager to learn it. Yeah, once you just form this foundation, OK, just, um, you know, um, put the seed in their mind. OK, now they have to learn English. English is very important. That way they will be very focused to learn this language. And after that, if you say, OK, so um, we have to learn tenses. What is the tenses mean? You need to explain in your uh, language okay this is the tense and we use tense if we are speaking in hindi agar main bol raha hu agar maine bola ki mujhe kal park jana hai aur maine iski jagah bol diya ki main kal park gaya tha theek hai only the tense jo hote hain wo wohi difference aapko batate hain okay if you don't use the tense you won't be able to uh, say okay this uh, action happened in future or at happening in present so you won't be able to differentiate so let them know okay so say even though if even you know lots of vocabulary and advanced uh, sentences you can make it but if you are not able to tell that action what that that action happened at what time future past or you're going to do it is happening uh, at present time so you this is the good thing just let them know OK, so say now I'm going to teach you tense. I told you why tenses are important. OK, if you don't know tense, that way you won't be able to tell the action when, when it's happened. OK, and then say present tense. I don't want if you teach your children. OK, ta, ti, ti, simple present. Oh, yeah, and that is the <laughs> oldest form. Yeah. OK, just tell them in simple way. OK, present, uh, simple present tense we use for universal truth. Yes, the action you do uh, daily, we use that one and just tell them this way. OK, and don't say if otherwise they will can get confused if you say ta, ti, they say, OK, this dance is finishing in ta or ti or that way you will encourage them to transfer in, uh, uh, translate English into their mother tongue. So we don't want like that way that this this is the biggest reason people are not able to learn English. OK, because they don't take it as a language that this just take it. OK, we need to uh, know somehow this language and we can transfer into our mother tongue. Then we, we transfer into English. Then we, that way we will we'll be able to speak this language. So don't uh, encourage your children to use that method. Just tell them simple rule. OK, raha ha rahi hai se. OK, the action which is happening in present. OK, what is mm -hmm. we are at this moment. So tell your children, don't just give example. OK, Sham went there. Uh, Sham is writing. Sham is eating. Don't say that. Say, what are you doing? Tell me, what are you doing at this moment? And children, they raise their hand and you pick one of the child. And child says, ma'am, at this moment, we are listening to you. Sorry, in Hindi, I will say, ma'am, we are listening to you. So we are listening to you. We are listening to currently. That is called simple, uh, sorry, present continuous. Continuous. What are you doing at this moment? Okay. Or just, uh, when you will teach tense, just te teach all three tenses together, like 
प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस पास कंटिन्यूस एंड फ्यूचर कंटिन्यूस टीच ऑल टूगेदर दैट वे दे विल बी एबल टू रिलेट वेल से ओके अभी तुम क्या कर रहे हो लेक्चर सुन रहे हो मेरा सो यू विल से मैम राइट नाउ वी आर लिस्निंग योर टू योर लेक्चर या एंड लेटर से अब इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक दिस पास कैसे बोलोगे कि तुम सुन रहे थे then say was was just explain them helping were, why we use this explain that thing then uh, then encourage them to just form sentences by themselves okay mm-hmm. say tell me one of the sentence what was happening in the past continuous say yeah, mommy uh, i was eating at uh, i was eating pizza or something like that so mm-hmm. this is happening in past continuous which was happening but wo past continuous tense hum kab use karte hain jab kisi jab hum bol rahe hote hain ki when you called i was eating pizza i was busy theek hai so the uh, jo present continuous past continuous tense hai wo akela nahi aayega it will come together with uh, simple past okay the time you called me i was very busy Yes, क्योंकि उस समय आप बता रहे हो पास में एक प्रेजेंट में यू कैन से सिंपली आई एम टॉकिंग टू यू बट आई कैन नॉट से आई वॉज टॉकिंग टू यू विदाउट टेलिंग यू सम कॉन्टेस्ट वाई आई एम आई एम सेइंग दिस सेंटेंस सो आई आई वुड से ओके द टाइम यू आर रिंगिंग मी या आई वाज हैविंग माय लंच आई नो नो द टाइम यू रिंग द टाइम यू रिंग आई आई वाज हैविंग माय लंच सो सिंपल पास विद सिंपल कंटिन्यूस Yeah. Okay. Tell them this way and just encourage them. Can you just say sentences what you were doing yesterday at that time and um, something like this? But this will come together. Simple past and simple uh, continuous. Sorry. Continuous. Past continuous, no simple continuous. <laughs> okay. So because I wasn't prepared for this lesson, so that's why I'm just telling you spontaneously what is coming on my mind. Okay, so this way you can teach them. Even future, you can say as well. Future continuous tense. I what you will do tomorrow at this time? I, ma'am, I will be watching movie. Yeah, tell the helping verb and encourage them to make their own sentences. Mm-hmm. Don't mm-hmm. um this sentence. You can just give idea. Say yeah, you know what yesterday, right? Rather than telling writing on the board, when you write something on the board, now they say, oh my goodness, boring. I we have to just study. It's kind of study, but you need to encourage their participation. Ask open-ended question. Okay, you stand up. You can tell me who. If you find that uh, someone is not very good at uh, speaking or not saying anything, you need to pick that child more often, and encourage. Mm-hmm. wow even they make some uh, you know um, mistakes just say wow at least you are very near you know nearly you i'm very astonished i'm very surprised you you can make it yes that's good good attempt i'm really like it so say like that way okay if you put yeah. little if you say this sentence like this that would be perfect but i really like your participation i li- really like your efforts keep continuing mm. Keep continuing. Okay, so this way you can encourage your children. Just tell them the sentences which they can relate to their uh, daily life, what they are doing, so that they will understand. Okay, this is a language. At actually, this is a language. This is not a subject. Yeah. Yes. Is it enough for you? One more explanation. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So nice to uh, explain all these things. Uh, yes, I will. uh i i am thinking about different activity also like uh, when i will teach yeah this is the right way like i will tell them first rules like where we use present indefinite for habitual action for universal truths like this and they will frame their own sentences different because when one student starts speaking now immediately some other students always think like i have to speak something extra so that is really nice and also like uh, you can just make your story in english first of uh, all you need to make sure that you just teach this uh, tenses and you say you know what happened yesterday because it was sunday yesterday i went there so they, is that the simple present past future what is this tense can you just tell me okay. who can raise your hand and they can tell okay you need to write need not to write on the board you just just, just say okay and then i went to the park you know what i did there yes and i over there had great fun i met one of my friends what why i use mm-hmm. met then past what is that then they can say and say you know the time you were maybe sleeping the time you slept i was watching movie 
<laughs> Standing uh-huh, yeah. Up. what is this sentence or something like that you can just encourage them to you know uh, just say something about those tenses and they will do that that way they will learn and don't teach all together just first of all you need to focus simple present simple past simple future hmm. okay and they, then you make story uh, using those okay okay today i you, you say okay can you just say something or maybe you can some people they do this they just tell in hindi and tell children to say in english okay mai ja raha i was going yeah mai jaunga i will go <laughs> yeah okay mai ja raha hu i am going <laughs> something like this mai pad raha hu i am studying mai pad raha tha i am studying but palunga i will study something like that yeah hmm. yeah definitely i will try something different right now this time and yes. i'm very yes. feeling privileged to having a friend and a tutor like you <laughs> thank you so much for telling these old tips because uh, i always think like tenses is very easy and uh, mm-hmm. you know in every standard of classes in every standard we are teaching these type of topic like tenses how we can teach and how in in different way we can teach so that it always remains fresh fresh in the, uh, students mind and they can easily frame sentences because yes. after tenses after the uh, knowing the rules of tenses they can easily make sentences and that is the right way how they can speak they will start speaking yeah you can say look i am going to introduce you mr was and war they both have friends but they don't come together make story like this okay we will use was with just uh, just say i and singular say, nah, and yeah. use war with this they are friends but they never come together so always remember but they come in the past they never come in the mm-hmm. future ever come in present so something like make stories like this according to you you know better your children <laughs> yeah definitely and just this is and and one more question like a transform method you were telling uh, and earlier it always happened in every school of india transform method is it good or bad i really don't encourage it because if they are at their beginner level you can just introduce okay once they get used to then you need to eliminate okay totally say no no now anymore because i was telling you you cannot just tell them straight away in english because they won't be able to understand but you can just ask okay uh, mai likh raha hu what is this tense can you make this one in in english i am writing something something like that you can just encourage and after that just say once you feel okay they are very good at uh, tense tenses you need to tell them okay stop doing like this now you need to say something what you have done mm-hmm. yesterday and they will say everything in the past if you want to know the past tenses if you want to know the future tense okay what you going to do tomorrow during the school holidays what you will do can you just tell me something then they will say everything in the future okay then, yeah. then you say, right now what is happening what you can see around the room what we are doing something yes yeah, something like that or say can you just introduce yourself in the english first of that you need to encourage your children to introduce themselves in english okay and then if then you need to also make sure that they are able to tell your daily routine in english as well yeah mm-hmm. so simple yes simple, they will use it yeah yeah i personally do this like uh, i always try to encourage my students to speak out something speak out every day but in english yeah <laughs> yes yeah. because when they will in the habit now because uh, after motivating again and again in every class this type of cases i found like two three cases they always try to speak hindi even in front of me also but yes you know exception are always comes so but uh, yeah they are also trying that is good but they are and they are using broken english but somehow i am feeling like after some time they will definitely uh, make good sentences you are right i am agree with you they will do that we need always need to have i high expectation from them and just tell them i'm my, my expectations are high from you and you need um because it's high you know why because i know you are capable uh, to achieve this so you need to do that work uh, towards your goals and you can do this you uh, believe or in yourself or not i believe in you yeah mm-hmm. so when you 
play with them and you love, uh, show their uh, your love and affection towards them they will be enthusiastic in, enthusiastic to learn and they will show their more efforts so that way they will learn better yeah so true okay anything else no okay. nothing my old doubts are clear <laughs> thank you <laughs> Anything else? I would like to serve you more. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. No, actually, uh, yes, I was. Uh, this is Sunday now, so today I have to make plan for next week. That's why I was thinking, like uh, yesterday, you told me uh, we should connect again. Then I was thinking which topic I can uh, ask to you because whenever I found any opportunity, I got any opportunity to connect with other teacher. I always. feel ancestric and i always feel like i have to concert something related to my occupation my profession that is teaching and that will helpful for my school work also as well as on youtube so yeah this time i was thinking yes uh, hema is also a teacher and i can ask definitely we both can connect with this yes you know why uh, because i know you are very uh, good teacher and that's why you always think on your mind how can i teach children better this is the symptom this is a sign that you are very good teacher and teach, I, i'm sure all the children they love you as well <laughs> yeah thank you so okay. much and uh, okay else? yes no nothing my old doubts are clear any i will found any difficulty we will connect again and uh, definitely i think this type of video will help for most of students also yes 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 that's good because i was thinking that you haven't uploaded uh, that video so we will have another video as well <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay Whether we can ideas yeah so it's better yes. and it's good for the children betterment yeah. yes yes okay please. okay All right. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you so much, and have a nice day. Today is Sunday, so enjoy your day. Thank you, and you too. Bye bye. Bye bye.